So, Wrath of the Machine Challenge Mode hits in just under 12 hours. If you didn't check out my guide to Challenge Mode, the link will be in the description I put up this morning. And also check out my new Mesa Sean t-shirts. Anyway, if you do not have a Dark Drinker, you need to go to Future War Cult and buy this rocket launcher. And even if you have a Dark Drinker, still go buy this rocket launcher. You have about 12 hours before the reset. Remember, all these things reset every single week. There was a Reddit post from GodDarkSide23 and a YouTube video, Jelly Crew Gaming. I'm going to link both in the description. They determined that this rocket launcher actually does more DPS than Dark Drinker. Now, am I saying not to use Dark Drinker? No. Uh, my team tomorrow, we're going to be running. I'll be streaming at 5 p.m., by the way, right here on YouTube. Plug, plug. Uh, we're going to be rocking this thing and also Dark Drinker. So for me, if I'm a cannon grabber, I'm rocking Dark Drinker. I'm going to swipe my captain. I'm going to do DPS on Axis. I'm going to be using my Dark Drinker. However, for everyone else, uh, you might want to pick this thing up right now. It is rolled perfectly. And in the video that's linked in the description from Jelly Crew Gaming, this thing just wrecks Axis. So it's got cluster bombs. you got heavy payload, tripod, and field scout. So I would run it with tripod, field scout, and also cluster bomb. Now, with my exotic boots, transverse of steps for the Warlock, it has increased heavy ammo. So now that's going to give me eight rockets to carry. Uh, it's got cluster bombs. You got field scout. You got tripod three in the tube. This thing's awesome. Go pick this thing up right now. Hey, I'm just uh, playing around with the alternate here. Just take a look at it. So here's how I have mine set up. I'm definitely going to be uh, using this, but I get well, I'm always cannon grabber on the left side. So uh, catch my stream tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern. We'll be doing three runs of Wrath of the Machine. We're going to grab the checkpoints actually at 5 a.m. So we can go right into Vasek. Not going to waste anyone's time. <laughs> checkpoints. Do Vasek and then also Axis. I really want to get all of those new raid primaries here. But this thing is total toast. I mean, just wrecks everything. Uh, obviously, the Ultra Knight's not very difficult to kill, but you can see this thing is going to be awesome. But make sure you check out Jelly Crew's Gaming. He goes through all the math in terms of comparing Dark Drinker and comparing the Warpath and actually how much DPS it does. So this thing is going to be a nice addition. If you don't have a Dark Drinker, go grab this thing. If you have a Dark Drinker, go grab this thing anyway. My whole fire team for the raid tomorrow, we all bought this thing tonight. And we all infused it up to 400. So that's it for the video, guys. Make sure you check out my new Mesa Sean 2017 Custom Culture t-shirts. Links will be in the description and also in the pinned comments. So that's it, guys. I'll see you all tomorrow. Let's see what else I got uh, for the hashtag made it to the end crowd. I got an Iron Banner loot video going up later on tonight. I got the weekly reset at 5 a.m., which means no sleep for Shawnee. And then I'll be streaming tomorrow at 5 p.m. right here on YouTube. And as I said um, in numerous videos, we had way too much fun carrying people through Crota Zen and Vault of Glass. So uh, after we knock out Wrath of the Machine this week with all the challenge modes, we'll be doing more raid carries throughout the week. Always streaming right here on YouTube. We pick people from the chat, preferably people who have never done it before. And yes, we check on Budget.net. So do me a favor. Drop a like this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at Mesa Sean. Check out my stream, usually and always on YouTube. And that's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir.